Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. Welcome to my channel. I teach people about ascension, specifically twin flame ascension, healing, and everything that goes with it. So how are you? We're in a new year, and there's something going on with Venus retrograde playing havoc with your relationships, okay? Or, as I learned to say years ago, relation shift. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Anyways, men are going through the ringer right now. I knew it was coming. I could see the signs. I could see some of the advanced men going through some of the things that they needed to go through. But it is doing even more. They are unplugging without mostly realizing it, okay? And the ones that do are usually the more aware one, and both people can be having quite a few symptoms as a result. Everything from throat issues, eye issues, emotional outbursts, emotional upheaval, extreme exhaustion, Sometimes reproductive issues such as ED or um, feelings of aches and cramps in that area. Cramps that seem like they could possibly be stomach cramps. And there are reasons for it and there are ways to alleviate this. The main way is to do the integration of the body blueprint, your brand new light body, your twin flame body to help each other alleviate it even if you haven't met, even if you're not even sure who that is, okay? There's reasons that go into history. Now, how do we know this also? Well, I think, I'm not sure if everyone likes to watch stuff, but I have been seeing a recurring theme, and it has been men's relationships with family. Now, oddly, this has been through shows that I've seen, and I started seeing this trend and I'm going, God, the writers are writing about this. They're writing about it in films and they're writing about it on shows. And no matter how weird it gets, there's an underlying core issue. That one main character who is a male and his relationship to the family. Children, siblings, a father, a lot of father and son relationship stuff. A lot of father and child relationship stuff, like where, you know, the father's older, or it could be the main character with his older or dead father, you know, the things that they went through, the things that men have had to do in order to help their family in the way they perceive that they can. Some of this has involved criminal activity, and yet it's there. It's like right in the underlying core of what has needed to be done, who have they lied to, cheated to, th thieved from, you know, stolen from, who have they gotten violent with or even left for dead, who have they gone to war with? Okay, like these are not pretty subjects. And these are part of the reasons that some of this stuff is so incredibly uncomfortable as it needs to unravel from the man that you love. Okay, now there's been a lot of man bashing over the years. I don't agree with it. I have a lot of men that are great people in my life who I care for deeply. And I don't want them on the targeting end of being bashed. Okay, yes, there's been an exposure of toxic masculinity just as much as there is toxic femininity. Both these things are at the extreme and it needs to be brought to the middle right to the zero point where it doesn't happen ever again. You cannot unify yourself with someone who is um, still carrying around patterns of relationship. You cannot unify yourself with someone who is weighted down or anchored down with the stuff that their dad did or their grandpa did. You can't Weight yourself down and carry that stuff. You're not intended to live as a martyr. If you're a man that loves a man, there are dynamics there. Are you the magnetic? Are you the electric? Are you, you know, carrying some of the load? Are you feeling some of it of what your other half has to let go of through the miles? 
If you have children, please be aware that as an ascending person, you have children that are ascending. There is ancestral stuff that it's incumbent on you to get rid of. What are you doing about it? Okay. You can't trip through the daisies. Some of this stuff that we call the spiritual work just isn't pretty. And yet it's the toughest people. Okay. We, I'm going to say something here. I'm a tough angel because I delve down to the murky depths to get people up and rescued from where they are. I could be like a submarine rescue diver, okay? Get those people out, get them to the surface, get them breathing again, get them up where they belong, okay? Yeah, God's deep sea divers, okay? It takes some of us to do that. Not everything's a light and fluffy trip through the daisies kind of, you know, experience. That's what everyone wants. Everyone wants light and lovely. Not everyone is getting this on their journey. A lot of people who feel like they got the short end of the stick. Well, what is in the path that I can help you easily unhook from and get yourself better and get you to a level where you are feeling the stuff you're intended to feel? Oh, God gave you a narcissist? Well, then what does that make you? Like, why are you even owning that? Okay, can we please get off of that topic? It's time, if you're really thinking that and you're like bearing up under that, time to get you free of that too. That is just more misconcepts and misinformation out there. And I talk to people on the regular where they have a regular little laundry list. Well, he did this, he did this, he did this. Therefore, it must be my twin flame. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. That ain't how it works. So if this is new to you, please steer clear of that misinformation because that is someone's very limited hitting the wall because they don't even know what else to think it. And they don't even know why that person isn't responding or reciprocating. Like, kind, and quality. You have a matching vibration with only that one person and other people will fall short of it, Okay. All kinds of people will fall short of it. Let's talk about another aspect of this Venus retrograde, okay? Exes, okay? Ex-lovers, ex-boyfriends, ex-spouses, ex-girlfriends, baby mamas, baby daddies, all popping up out of the woodwork because you need to address something. How should you address it? I'm going to tell you this. This is a freebie. Not with conflict, how can you do that? How can you not, you know, lock horns and grind away or get someone to defend and protect you? That is why I teach you your soul connections and the integration of your new twin flame body with a blueprint that is geared up for you to never, ever, ever have to go to war with anyone again. Not a battle of wits, not a battle of minds, harmony, not strategy, not snide little backstabbing things behind. No, this has to really change, okay? Because if nothing changes, then nothing changes. I was always continually reminded over the past few months of Dr. Martin Luther King's famous words, the content of their character, okay? If you're going to stoop to a lower level, then you are not paying attention to the context of your own character. And believe me, I've had this struggle. And a lot of us, we have that thing where our heart is big, but our abilities, particularly as an angelic, to be the hunter or the huntress, we could definitely go to war. We've had to. We've literally been on hunts. But we have to not use weaponry anymore. We can't use words as swords. We have to do this different now. Okay, so what happens when these X's roll around? How do you really get them out of sight, out of mind, out of your energy bodies? Unhook them. Because sometimes you might want them. Sometimes they might want you. It's never going to happen again, even if you have a child together. And I recently went through this. Oh, man, that tension was intense. Hatred. Even mixed up stuff like, you know, things about men and things about Americans and all kinds of intensity, okay? 
And I had to stop myself 10 times a day and work on getting rid of that so that I could do it the proper way, so that I could literally do by being. In fact, I wrote the book on it. I wrote it in my Twin Flame Relationships book. Not only that, I have to practice what I'm teaching and writing about. And it was so hard not to fall into those old patterns. And I stopped myself. And I stopped myself another day. And I stopped myself another day till I felt it dissipate. Okay? I'm not going to give you details because it's somewhat of a private matter. But it involved the baby daddy and aspects of children. And that's about all I'm going to say. Okay? I'm going to talk about another main topic of this Venus retrograde, your relationship to money, not just money, love and money, where you've gotten your money, how you've gotten your money, what you do with your money, how you spend your money, how are you balancing that, okay? In case you haven't noticed, okay, sorry for the sarcasm, we are in a worldwide pandemic. This is going to go on with a ripple effect for a close to a three to four year period, starting from that time. So we may still have another two years of some of this. I'm going to say this. Be cautious, be cautious, not fearful, okay? It's okay to be thrifty. It's okay to double check. In fact, I have a recommendation in my other book on doing a budget so that you're actually letting your higher self know what it is you need. You know, like, what are your basics? That's not something everyone does. And in fact, that is why this needs to be fixed is because a lot of people have fear or they hand over their financial life to their spouse or their ex or whoever they're with or to their parents. And they don't learn and they haven't been taught. And women even less so. Here in the United States, women only got the right to vote in 1920. Okay? That didn't even mean every woman voted. Now, the last election we had here, yeah, you better believe there was some attention on that because people were suddenly noticing, like, hey, I need to vote. And, like, you always get those people that they're like, I don't want to engage with the patriarchy. I'm not going to vote. Well, then you didn't vote, so you don't get a vote, okay? That doesn't mean someone took away your right to vote. Oh, but they took away these people's right to vote, okay? Yes, in the United States, every state can be a little different. But even if you've been incarcerated, please check on your right to have your right to vote restored to you. You are a citizen. That doesn't mean that you're not a citizen, you can get certain privileges restored to you. Probably can't while you're there, but when you're free, when you've served what you need to serve, okay? All right, without getting too far off the topic here, okay, women learning about money and love, it hasn't really happened. Yes, there's certain savvy women, Yes, they've been called strident bitches. Yes, they are girl bosses and boss babes and, you know, bossy, bossy, bossy. Bitchy, bitchy, bitchy. <laughs> and what do we call the, the males? They're the alphas. They're the apex. You know, like, yeah, okay. It's all got to change, okay, because you should be aware of certain things. Now, I worked in an industry for 20 years where... Women would come in and they were clueless, okay? They weren't stupid. They were highly intelligent, trained, educated women who had been told they didn't need to worry their pretty little head about it, and then they'd get screwed. And those women had to learn it like it was ABC's time. They had to learn basic financial things so that they could take care of themselves, okay? Not have to rely... Now, in other countries, some countries still require a male chaperone or a male relative of some sort to help them attend to certain things. When we don't set these things in motion, it doesn't ripple through the world. Okay, those of us that move forward, we send those ripples. We send it from our DNA. 
believe it, because when people come to countries where you do have certain privileges and liberties uh, provided for you under the laws, and you take advantage of what is available to you, okay, yeah, it's not perfect. No place is perfect. There's growing pains all over the place. We're supposed to grow. But the ancestral connections start the changes from whence you came, from where your origins are, because that is part of what we are here to do is make it better. Okay, it may not be perfect. The perfection is in your twin flame body. Being perfect as a human, we're all going to fail each other. We have to have a certain level of second chances and forgiveness. So what do you need help with in this Venus retro energy? Okay, these are really heavy topics. These are really hard to face. And sometimes they can seem very daunting as though the challenge has been thrown down. You've got the gauntlet right there and you're being challenged and almost dared to go ahead and do it because I will hurt you. I will harm you. I will cross you, okay? How do you do this where it's like you're using the force of love on those people, on your exes, on the baby daddies, on the baby mamas, on the bosses, okay? Yeah, you can be a tough negotiator. If you try to do it all with your mind, you're going to get lost in it or it'll hit its wall at some point. The reason that you're learning this and doing the integration of your brand new twin flame body is because it's a natural part of you, okay? You have to strive, kind of ascend yourself up into it. That is why I'm teaching it, to help make it easy for you. You don't want to take 30 years to do this, right? So that natural part of you wants to receive and deflect things and sift and sort it for you, okay? So it doesn't have to come, everything come to your mind. Because just worry alone will make people a little crazy, overwhelmed, worried, unable to sleep, stressed, anxious. What happens when people get all those things? Then starts the drugs and alcohol and the medicine. Then starts the other stuff, the tension, the fighting. Then starts the bad sex and the sexual mistakes. Then starts the getting sick. Do you see what I'm saying? It like, wah, wah, wah. Can we please break these patterns? Please let's be the group of people on this planet that begins to push it in the correct level, in the correct direction, with love. And mostly so that you feel that 5D romantic love while you're doing it. Isn't it nice to be able to talk to, you know, the baby daddy, while it feels like your love is standing right there behind you, like you are a connected couple addressing one person who doesn't stand a chance against you because no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Believe it. Okay. Shifting it, using that. Okay. Be the goddess, be the empress. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Or the emperor or God. God self, be a mythological character. I don't care. Let's get you to be yourself. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. The links are below. Bye.